Hey, welcome back, friends. So, top seven mediocre items from 2022, camping, RV related. That's what I've got behind me right here. I've done a, a video on a couple of these. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on each one of them either, but while everyone else is giving you their, their best of 2022, I'm just gonna show you some stuff you may wanna steer clear of. Before we do that, please help me pay some bills and check out today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by RVMattress.com a Brooklyn bedding brand. Brooklyn bedding is known for the top of the line comfort and quality. Plus their mattresses are made right here in the good old USA and shipped to you for free. RVmattress.com makes mattresses perfect for your situation. That includes non-traditional sizes, even bunks. So RVmattress.com offers sizes ranging from six inches all the way up to 14 inches. These fits a lot of times are lighter in weight and also flexible, keeping underbed storage in mind. So we've been in this mattress now for a few months and it's undoubtedly the most comfortable mattress we've tried and we've tried several. It's even more comfortable than our mattress here at our Sticks and Bricks, and that one costs hundreds of dollars more. So the best part about all of this is Brooklyn Bedding manufactures all of their RV mattresses in their own factory in Arizona. That means they can skip the middleman, use great materials, and pass that cost savings on to you. On top of all this, RVmattress.com offers a 10-year warranty, so you can rest easy on all of your exciting adventures. So I love our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new RV mattress, be sure to check out RVmattress.com. Hop down there, click on the link below, or go to RVmattress.com slash wondering. You're gonna type in the promo code wondering and save 20% on your mattress. So thanks again for RVmattress.com for giving you guys a promo code. Now let's get back to today's video. Let's introduce you to this year's list. I'll, I'll talk about, I'll introduce you to each product and then we'll talk about each one individually. Uh, first on the list, 1300 watt, 1254 watt hour Rock Pals power station. Next up is Eno. Very, very uh, Eagles Nest Outfitters. It's a very popular brand. This is their Trail Flyer outdoor game. Uh, very mediocre. We'll talk about why. Next up, Friesemer Ice Maker. Everyone loves an ice maker in their RV. I've got some extensive experience with this one. We'll talk about why that one's mediocre as well. This is going to cause some controversy. Uh, unique uh, tank treatments. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. I'll tell you why it's, why it's mediocre for us. It, yeah, it just didn't, didn't, didn't hold up to our standards by any means. Waxall. Now, you guys know I love Wash Waxall. This is the ceramic coating that they offer. And, yeah, I just haven't had a good experience with it. it again, mediocre. New Air. This is uh, one of the pow powder, powder, portable coolers. Um, we'll talk about that one. And I just did a video on the Turbo Ant X7. Not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I'll put a card up when we get to that. Let's talk about each one individually. Okay, friends, let's start with this Rock Piles. 1300 watt, 1254 watt hour little power station. And Rockpal sent me this. Uh, actually, this is the second one they sent me. The biggest reason this is mediocre is the first one just shorted out on me. Yeah, that was a little frustrating. Uh, I was just, all I was doing was using this to power a small pellet grill, a portable pellet grill. And about halfway through the cook, the thing just shut off. It was 100% charged. Uh, it wasn't pulling hardly any power. The little pellet grills don't pull hardly any power. Yeah, and it just, it just quit on me, and it was dead. It was dead after that. Uh, this one so far has been fine, but yeah, it's just it's mediocre. Another, another reason it's mediocre, the, uh, it comes with this solar panel, or you can, this is an option over here. All right, you guys can see here, this 200 watt panel is giving us about 170, 172 watts of charging, which, uh, which I'm very happy with that. That's, that's, that's pretty good for a 200 watt panel. That part of this little setup I really like. Showed you that. But um, yeah, it, it, they force you to use this adapter. Like you got the east west adapter or east west plug here for your, your uh, solar, and but you got to adapt it to north south to use the solar panel that it actually comes with it. So it makes no sense to me. But also, it charges very slowly. Like I've got other chargers that will, when you plug it up to a home outlet, they'll charge it, you know, around 800 watts. This one charges max out at about 170, what you saw over there on the panel. So, yeah, very mediocre. I'm not terribly happy with it. Uh, I'm going to keep this one. I'm, I'll probably use it from time to time, but I've got a couple of others I always put in the truck first. All right, next on the list is this uh, little trail flyer from Eagle's Nest Outfitters. And, uh, yeah, I'll set it up for you and show you why this is. This makes this year's list for most mediocre 
RV slash camping products. So at first glance, it looks pretty cool, right? You've got a like a little cornhole game, basically. You've got a strap back here that tightens around a tree or a post, and then you've got two stakes on each side, that one there and one over there, and you got yourself a little portable cornhole game that packs down into, you know, a pee wee football size. You got your little sandbags, bean bags right here, and yeah, you just play some cornhole. The problem with this is no matter how hard we try, we're always having to tighten up a stake, but more so we're always having to tighten up this strap. So even when it's around a tree, you would think that this thing would grip this bark really well. After a lot of this, it just starts eventually working itself loose and we're constantly having to tighten it up to the point where you can't even play a whole game, even a half a game without tightening it up. So for that, it makes the mediocre list. Next up on the list is this Freezimmer ice maker and it makes the little the little dome igloo type ice pellets, uh, you know, gets whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is the second one I've had. Again, it's more of a, uh, I, yeah, I don't know how good their quality control is. This is the second one I've had. The first one was so loud. They said, oh, wow, that's not good. Let us send you another one. So it works. It makes ice. I don't know what else I should say about it. But you, right now, you got a, like a 50-50 shot, at least in my experience, that you're going to get one that is so loud. You will hate using it. So, yeah, freeze them or a little ice maker. It does. It makes about like 25 pounds every 24 hours of ice. Uh, it does well. But, again, it's just so loud that it's, it definitely makes this list. Next up on the list, and like I said in the intro, this is going to be a little controversial because... This is a great company. They have a great process to follow as far as taking care of your tanks. We just haven't had very good success with odor control using unique digestive. So we've used the, the treatment here. Uh, we've used this first. We've cleaned the whole tank first. Then we use the treatment. We've also used this treatment, which is, I think, similar to like a happy camper. Um, the cleaner works fine. It's, just, you know, it's a cleaner. We just haven't had very good success using only this by itself. Um, now what we have what we've had to do to get the same odor control as Happy Camper is actually use this and this which cost-wise makes zero sense. Uh, we're also just weekend campers so to think that we're gonna get build up and all that stuff you know we flush our tanks every two days so I, I think for, maybe for full-timers this may be the way to go this I know the process is really good uh, if you go to Unique if you go to their website and you, you look at their process of keeping your tanks healthy, I, I love their process. We just haven't had very good success with their product. And that's why it's on this list of 2022's uh, mediocre RV slash camping stuff. Rolling right along. Next up, new air, portable fridge, and freezer. So this is a this is the potential to be a nice little unit. You can see here you've got a fridge and a freezer in here. So there's the refrigerator part, there's the freezer part. You've also got it, it also comes with its own uh, battery. This is an option. Uh, this will run the unit for a good 30, 45 minutes, even in really hot weather. I proved that at the beach. All that's well and good, but uh, you know, another, another couple features. You got a cutting board here, you got a bottle opener over here. Um, it's got an extendable handle right there but here's the main issues with it the smaller issue is this wheel it has it doesn't have enough ground clearance to do anything except run over basically concrete you get in any kind of grass anything it just it just slides there's, there's no ground clearance to it and most importantly again another compressor issue maybe but this thing is extraordinarily loud Uh, so loud that New Air wanted to send me another one. I told them not to worry about it. Um, yeah, I, it's just very, very loud. We had it uh, at the beach, and it worked well. It kept up well. It did well. But when we had it in the condo, it's just so loud you didn't even want to run it. Uh, we just had to put it far and away from everyone. To uh, it just got it drove you nuts. So very, very loud um, product here. I don't think, it, again, they wanted to send me another one, so I don't think that is normal, 
But if I got one, I have to imagine several people will get one. And I just have to put it, although it works, I just got to put it on the mediocre list. Next one on the list is Waxall from Aero Cosmetics. Now, you guys know I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. Matter of fact, when I had my old white truck, I went an entire year and never even used a drop of water to clean that truck. And it did wonderfully. This stuff's a different story. So this is their ceramic product here. You can see multi-polymer ceramic wax. And it's just a huge pain in the butt to apply. You got to do tiny, tiny sections. And if, I mean, yeah, it's just, this is where you need to go. If you're curious about a good product that's easy to apply and works really, really well, Wash Wax All is really good. Wax All is, my, my experience so far, I've had it, this may have been 2021, but uh, yeah, I've, I've had it a while and it's just a real pain in the butt. And I don't even think it looks as good once it's on as this stuff. So for that, it earns mediocre RV slash camping product of the year, or one of them anyway. Next up, you're seeing the e-scooters and e-bikes all over the place. And I just did a video on this Turbo Ant X7 Max. It is, uh, it is mediocre to put it mildly. Uh, for me, I'm well within the 275 pound weight limit and it really, really struggles on hills with me. So I'm not going to spend hardly any time on this. I just did a video on it. If you want to see that, check the uh, the video section in our channel. All right, bonus item. I said seven, but I think this is eight. And I just did a video on this one as well. This is the Retevis. Uh, these are the uh, walkie-talkies from Retevis. I haven't had a wonderful experience with them. They work but their range is not that great. And I've got a set of Midland X-Talkers. It's got double the range for a very similar price. Um, yeah, the clarity's not good. The range is not good. And then the one I got, you notice this is a white charging cable. Uh, the one I got, the charging cable was also broken, so I had to replace it with this one, which most people have a bunch of those extras hanging around. It's not that big a deal. Also, the clip back here is kind of a pain. It's uh, it's not. It doesn't have a spring like the, the X-Talkers. But I'm just not a big fan of them, and while they work, they are mediocre. All right, friends, there you have it. There is my list, 2022 most mediocre RV camping-related items. And why do this video? Well, I do a lot of review videos, and most of them are pretty good, but there's some lemons out there. And I think it's important, as much as you find these YouTubers giving you products to purchase, I think it's also important that we also tell you our experience when things don't go so well and it kind of helps you save your hard-earned money maybe you choose another option over there on amazon when you're looking at these particular products if you're looking at ice maker power stations coolers all of that stuff uh, maybe you know which ones to avoid yeah i think the comment i get most about my reviews you know we're a homegrown channel and the comment i get most is we appreciate your honesty and thank you uh, that is why I'm here. I'm here to be straightforward with you. I'm here to be completely honest with you. And as far as these products are concerned, yep, they sent them to me for free. I doubt they're going to send me anything else after this video. But hey, I think it's important for you guys to know you guys are my concern. And uh, yeah, that's how we roll around here. Guys, I hope you're doing great. This is towards the end of the new of 2022. So I, I hope you guys have had a wonderful 2022, and I hope your 2023 is twice as good. See ya.